What's up, everybody? I got a confession. I love making these aeroponic systems. They're just so cheap, easy, and a lot of fun to build. In today's video, I'll be going over the parts for these systems in the tent in front of me and showing you the build process. And hopefully, this will inspire you to build one of your own. Lock in. So yesterday, this 3x3 was empty and I had no idea what I wanted to build. I just wanted something that was simple, cheap, and effective. And I wanted to try low pressure aeroponics. The designs are simple. It's basically a reservoir, a pump for the nutrient water, and a few misting nozzles. I've got everything I need in this container. But you know me, ha, I had to put my spin on it. For this build, I used a nine gallon storage container to hold the plants, half inch clear tubing for a water indicator, half inch vinyl tubing for water delivery, quarter inch tubing for the air pump, two inch net pots and collars, half inch tees and elbows to make our bends, half inch clips to hold everything in place, half inch grommets to keep the water from leaking, Spray nozzles for that fine mist. I'm starting to love these threaded nozzles. Each system is going to get a water pump, an air stone, and an air pump to keep the oxygen pumping. We're going to need some tools. These are what I call the essentials. I'll need something for measuring and cutting. And of course, the most important thing I'll need is a drill. Now that I've got the parts, let's build this thing. I'll start by marking and drilling two inch holes for the net pots and one for the pump and plug. I'll drill one hole on each side for the clip and a few more for the water level indicator. Then the drilling is done. Next, I measured and cut the clear tubing for the water level indicator. Then I hit it with a heat gun to make it nice and straight. Then it was time to plug in the grommets. These pop right in, and if everything was done correctly, it should be a tight fit. Next, it was time to install the half inch clips. I installed one clip on each side. This will keep the half inch tubing locked in. Then I put waterproof tape over all the holes to help prevent leaks. Next, I moved on to the tubing. I measured and cut three and a half feet for each container and secured it to the sides with the clips. It was a tight fit, but I managed to attach the half inch teeth, which is an important piece that will be useful later in the build. To make things easier, I drilled a few holes and twisted in the spray nozzles. I'm using blue 180 degree nozzles, which spray in one direction to help prevent leaks. The system is almost done. Next, I'll cut the corners, plug in the elbows, and attach the water pump. I'm using a 400 gallon per hour pump. It ain't nothing crazy, but it keeps the water pumping. And for the finishing touches, each container is getting an air stone to make sure the water doesn't get stale. And I spray painted the lids a metallic silver. This will help prevent light leaks and hopefully keep the water temperature cooler. Now let's test it out and see if it works.
but the real test begins when we put some plants in there. We're gonna see how these bad boys perform over the next few months. So if you're hyped to see that, drop a like and subscribe for more DIYs just like this.